Hello friends! The King Cobra is the largest venomous snake on the planet. It is often about 12 to 14 feet long. A cobra that's longer than a motorboat is already impressive, but there are also some real giants living in the remote corners of the jungle where there's a lot of food and they can reach up to 18 feet in length, which is over three times the size of a person. Venomous snakes are usually several times smaller, but the King Cobra doesn't care for the rules. All 18 feet of its body is a tight string of strong muscles, which it has perfect control over. The King Cobra can bend at incredible angles, shoot out its body a couple of yards forward, and fight for hours to get especially stubborn prey. This predator can strangle the victim, gradually injecting its venom into it. The King Cobra doesn't skimp on venom when it needs to defeat an especially strong enemy. It keeps all the other snakes of Southeast Asia in check. The start of the fight between the King Cobra and the other snakes is both impressive and frightening. The huge snake makes a swift jerk and bites the victim. The closer to the head, the better. Firstly, the Cobra's venom will spread faster throughout the body of the prey, and secondly, the enemy won't have a chance to turn around and strike back. Then, the cobra's powerful body comes into play. The taipan is considered one of the most dangerous snakes. First of all, the taipan's venom is several times stronger than that of the king cobra. Moreover, its venom has a combined effect. It blocks the muscles, so the victim suffocates, and it prevents clotting, so the victim gets weaker because of the internal hemorrhages. The taipan is irritable, aggressive, and reacts to any threat with an instant attack. But that's not a problem for the King Cobra. The King Cobra doesn't see the Taipan as a venomous monster, but rather as a hearty sandwich. It attacks the enemy and bites it, and then tries to pull it under itself. Given the Cobra's size, that's not a problem. Of course, the Taipan fights back, but the Cobra doesn't care. It bites the Taipan again and again. First, the Cobra grabs the victim by the body so that it doesn't get away. Then it inflicts the final bite in the head area. The back of the head is the weak point of any snake, because it won't be able to turn around and strike back if it gets grabbed near the head. Meanwhile, the Cobra doesn't slow down, and the Taipan's head disappears into its huge stretching mouth. Its blackness is the last thing the Taipan sees before the heart stops. Gradually, the Taipan disappears into the Cobra's mouth. Snakes always eat their prey whole. This viper is also known for its strong venom, but the King Cobra attacks it without any hesitation. It sneaks up on the prey, as close to the head as possible. One mistake and the viper will bite back, but the Cobra is too tough to make mistakes. Lightning fast throw and it bites the victim right under the head. The counterattack is simply impossible. The cobra drags its prey in the water and keeps it there until the venom finishes off the victim. The ability to swim well is another advantage of the king cobra. Moreover, the king cobra's venom is a powerful neurotoxin that affects the muscles and stops the breathing. The king cobra's venom is a weapon for hunting, not for self-defense. During the pursuit of prey, the cobra doesn't skimp on venom, but if the snake is disturbed by a human, it will most likely respond with a dry bite. That is, it will bite without releasing venom, holding back its supply with the help of special muscles it has in its mouth around the venomous teeth. Therefore, not all cobra bites are fatal for people. Although the cobra tries to avoid people, if it does inject venom into the human body, it will cause pain, convulsions, swelling, and then eventually stop the breathing. And all of it in just 15 minutes of agony. The chances that the bite victim will have time to be hospitalized and injected with an antidote are very small. The venom of the king cobra can kill an Indian elephant. If the bite falls on the trunk, then the elephant has about three or four hours to say goodbye to its loved ones. The king cobra fights off predator attacks beautifully. Like other cobras, it raises above the ground, spreads its hood, which may have a pattern of colorful scales. The king cobra can't hear, but it moves in the same rhythm as the enemy, trying to react to their moves in time. The graceful movements of the cobra really look like dancing. At the same time, 
The King Cobra tries to scare off the enemy, to show that it isn't worth messing with it. The snake puts off biting for as long as possible, but if it gets enraged, it will bite again and again. In some countries, cobra is a national dish. They say it tastes like a bird. They especially like cobra ribs fried with special sauces. The locals have a tradition that resembles a test of courage. Before eating the cobra meat, they have a drink made with the snake's blood and venom. However, people can have a good relationship with these snakes, and so much so that it's even shocking. The fact is that cobras can crawl close to human settlements on especially hot days. They crawl up to humans for only one reason, to get water. However, they don't attack anyone during such an invasion, but simply drink water and peacefully crawl back into the forest. The cobra's behavior at such moments seems incredibly intelligent. They don't hide, but they don't show any aggression either. They spread their hood, but at the same time, they allow people to get close to them. There is even footage of an Indian man giving the cobra a drink straight from the bottle. The king cobra knows a lot about hospitality and behaves respectfully. It crawls up to a person at a throw distance, but doesn't attack. Instead, it patiently waits to be doused with water. Surprisingly, in such circumstances, snakes willingly drink water, cool down, and then quietly crawl away. In countries where the king cobras live, people treat these snakes with great respect. Occasionally, king cobras can fight each other. They do practice cannibalism. This fight looks stunning because both cobras use their entire arsenal. They strangle each other, bite, use their fangs, and try to simply crush the enemy. In this case, their chances are equal, so both predators are in danger. It's impossible to make any predictions as to which snake will get eaten. And this snake fight actually looks like a staged action movie scene. The reptiles push and fight, but then both of them fall off the ledge. However, even upon hitting the sharp stones, they don't disengage. The victim fights back, but its fat body is to the king cobra like a grilled sausage to a hungry tourist. You have already seen several duels of the king cobra with other venomous snakes, and probably noticed that the cobra bites its victim much more often than it gets bitten. Still, the taipan and other snakes with powerful venom definitely don't give up without a fight. Do cobras dodge every bite? No, they don't even try to do that. Given their huge size, the enemy's teeth will definitely end up sinking into them at some point. The secret of the king cobra is its amazing resistance to the venom of other snakes. It actually makes sense that snakes have a high level of immunity to venom, but the natural protection usually extends only to the toxin of their own species. However, the king cobra has developed immunity to the venom of virtually any kind of snake that lives in Southeast Asia. The king cobra deals with venomous snakes quickly and brutally. Their only weapon is powerless against the king cobra, while its size and venom leave no chance for its rivals. It turns out that pythons also can't feel safe around the king cobra. Even if the python is larger, the difference in size isn't enough to give it an advantage in the fight over a more aggressive cobra. And if the python is smaller, it has virtually no chance to survive. Although it is worth giving the python at least some credit, this fighter always fights to the end and wraps itself around the cobra with all its might. But that doesn't help. Moreover, being venomous gives the cobra an unbeatable advantage. The python tries to fight, it wants to squeeze the cobra, break its ribs, crush and strangle it. But the cobra is too strong, which is why the cobra's venom ends up working faster than the python can cause any significant harm to the cobra. It seems that the cobra enjoys fighting the python, as if it finally found a worthy opponent. It doesn't matter if the snake is venomous or if it's huge and strong, it's equally likely to become the king cobra's dinner. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.